All right, now, now back into recording. Um, so just a heads up, we lost a little bit of dialogue, but it's nothing too terrible. So. Oh, did it? Did I ever tell you about that apparently the scars are like bug people? What? The scars in Anthem, they're like bug people. More incoming. Watch those no, eyes. I haven't. We haven't played. Hmm. Yeah, apparently they're bug people. Those freaking acid bomb things, though, they're so annoying. What's that noise? Oh, that's right. I'm on the two seconds delay, so it was probably just what was right in front of me. Come 
Come on, buddy. That was baloney. I hit you. Looking for help. There we go. Oh, hey. Oh. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh, well, damn. So, if I would have just waited like eight more minutes, I would have been done. Oops. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the new weapon slot, All right? The secondary weapon slot. for the flamethrower. Don't need that. I'll take that. No. No. Siege cannon. Um, I've never used that, so I'm just go keep the rail going. I'll keep that. Oh, I can't go to the forge. Okay. I can't craft yet. That's the annoying part. 
Can't craft yet. <laughs> I have to unlock crafting. Okay. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yaro. Oh, I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Ooh, story time. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous. But most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsus and her Legion of Dawn. One of our best, Freelancer Adams, led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the Sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark, 
They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. All right. Faction system, yeah, I already know about that. All right, Zo, I'll talk to you in a second. Um, You, I can talk to you. Uh, that should be it for the first episode, though. Got a bit done, so... I could talk to him and start the crafting system. It's not that bad. I'm at 17 minutes for the second episode. I mean, second, um, part. So it's a little over an hour. Because of cutscenes and talking and all that and customization. Um, that'll be it for the first episode. Um, there's anything you want to say, Jofen, before I end the video? Dude, I, I'm about to pass out. You are? <laughs> I haven't slept since yesterday night. Dude, you need your sleep, then. You need to get some sleep. Uh, is I'll try to do work? some more recordings. Huh? What is sleep? I don't know what that what is. is Please sleep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna make a concerted effort to actually make more videos. Uh, there will be a video, I guess, explaining why I haven't done one in a while. It's been about, what, two weeks since the last upload? As of recording this video, two, something like that, huh? Two, three, three a month. Really, a month? Technically, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know, two weeks. Two weeks ago was the last video that was uploaded. Yeah, but you recorded it a while. Like, yeah, I, I recorded that. those a long time ago. <laughs> uh, I will try to record more, though, to keep, you know, try to keep content coming. Um, I'm rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, look for more videos that I've done. And make sure you check out Jofin's channel. His channel is always in the description below or at the end of the video. Usually it's just in the description. But if he's in the video, he's usually at the end of the video too. So, Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, everybody.
shit, I got more ales to make, and I kind of don't. <laughs>